Hey everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody here. Um, this is my September Killer Kit. Actually, I think I'm going to rename these to um, Kit Results because I don't kill my kit because I have so much in it. So I think I'm going to rename these to Kit Result videos, but whatever. We'll figure it out. So anyways, this is the these are the results from my September kit now. Of course, my disclaimer, as I always say, I pull out way too much, so I always have stuff left. And I'm actually not even going to go through everything I have left except for the pattern papers and then show you, um, not the pattern papers, but the papers in general, and then also show you what things I killed. Other than that, all the thickers and stickers and all that, of course there's going to be plenty of those left because I pull out well I probably pull out enough to make 30 pages, honestly. I don't pull out enough paper to make 30 pages, but I probably pull out enough embellishments to make 30 pages. So I'm not going to go through all that, but I will go through the papers that I pulled, um, the things that I killed, and then of course show you everything that I did. So I will set the projects aside and show you the papers first. Now, I'm happy to say I have pulled this archived we are Memory Keepers collection kit out as a backup and I didn't even use it at all. I didn't even reach for it so I was pretty happy about that. I'm going to probably try to not have a backup set now from this point on because I didn't use it at all and there's no point in pulling one. So, set that down. Now these are the papers I have left. I started with 18 full sheets of paper and that was pattern paper, cardstock, and specialty papers and I ended with seven full sheets and then so I used eleven and then of the scraps I pulled out a bunch of scraps to include with it I started with sixteen and I ended with thirteen and they're not the same scraps that I started with but you'll be able to see that so these are the scraps that I have left I have a little bit of this yellow paper but it's a pretty yellow so I don't want to toss it same thing for that blue a few grays this one, I was going to use this family as a part of a title, but I didn't end up using them. This paper left. Some of this gray. This teal, I already, it was a scrap when I started, and it still is. Same thing for that grid. Same thing for that yellow paper. I have a weird shaped teal piece of card stock left. I love this gray lace paper. And then um, this large piece scrap piece which again I started with this one so I'm ending with it as well so those are all the scraps I have left and I will keep these scraps I use my scraps until I can't use them any longer till they're little slivers of paper or they have glue all over them and I have to throw them away so I will be keeping those and then these are the papers I had left had this one left I pulled it out four or five times to use it and I just never did the floral was just not right for a lot of the pages I was working with had this one and I actually had a scrap of this same paper that I used. I didn't cut into the large piece, I just had the scrap. This pretty doily. This nice yellow chevron left. This piece from the cut and paste um, collection kit. And I was going to use either side and I just didn't. Um, this beautiful pink paisley paper, which I really wanted to use. Um, but I didn't, obviously. And then lastly, this blue kind of arrow paper. So those are all the papers that I have left. They will go back in my stash, of course. And then I did kill a few things. I used, sorry, I must be standing in a creaky spot on our floor. I put all my, like, trash in this baggie, so I have it. I used one full sheet of Recollections labels. So that'll go in the trash. I used these Autumn Leaves 3D stickers, and there were four on here. And you'll see I use these on cards. I used, okay, so this, uh, the Rubber Cafe Puffy paint does not work. And you can see, I mean, it's like liquid mess. And I shook it and shook it and shook it and shook it and finally got it to come out in a, in a usable fashion and then it doesn't puff properly whenever you heat it. So that's going to be trash. Um, I also used up all that I had of this little white ribbon, the thicker one and the smaller one. 
I also had a color box ink by Stephanie Bernard. It was the blue one. I had to throw it away. It just was all over the place. It was disgusting. It was terrible to use. Now I have the yellow one, which I'm keeping, of course. It's great. It stamps perfectly. But the blue one I had to throw away. I used up one, the rest of one washi tape. Of course, I didn't use it all on the layouts here, but I finished it on these layouts. And lastly, I have this crepe paper stuff by Studio Calico and it's just it's terrible there's no way I'm gonna end up using it I had used it on one layout when I first originally got it so I'm gonna throw it away because I just can't use it it's it's all folded and it's not gonna be pretty when I use it so that's gonna go in the trash so I used up a few things in my stash not a whole lot but you know it's nice to be able to work your way through some of the things you have in your stash especially since you're or I am getting new things periodically and then I did want to show you this because I mentioned this in my kit reveal video that I was going to continue to work on these. These are the K & Company vellum sticker pad sheets. I just had torn it apart. I got it for $1.99 at TJ Maxx a couple years ago. It originally had 50 pieces in it and I'm down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pieces. So I am using these and I will continue to use these. These are great. I love them. They're perfect for cards. Um, there's a lot of sentiments on here that are pretty um, standard and universal, like way to go, yay, yippee, hooray, good for you, and congratulations. Best friends forever and ever. Here's to us, one of a kind, side by side, forever and always, and celebrate. So I'm going to continue to make cards with these, but this, I just wanted to show you my progress on here. We're from 50 down to 7, so I'm excited about that. Now what I created, let me throw these away. Excuse me. Alright, so what I created, I have 21 total projects that I made. Two are other things. Okay, just wanted to make sure it was still recording. Okay, so two are other things. I have 11 layouts and 8 cards, and one of the cards you're not going to see because I actually gave it to Ernest for his birthday. So let's start with the cards just because they're easiest. And as you can see, a lot of these have the, the vellum stickers on here, and a lot of them are pretty simple, but I like them. Um, and sometimes simple is the best way to go. So this one says, congratulations on your accomplishment. This one I used some my tile stamp letters that I have a demo for. It should be posted right before this. But it says, I hope you have a whale of a birthday. And these are those autumn leaves th dimensional stickers. And they're kind of cute. This one says, thank you for always being there and for making me smile. I thought that one was super cute. Again, one of those autumn leaves uh, stickers. And this is an LA Studio um, die cut. Thinking of you makes me happy. I did a stamped background, have some of those foam stickers, and um, another one of those die cuts. Oh, and this is specifically for my brother-in-law. There's no way he's going to watch my YouTube videos, so I don't mind showing this. It says, happy birthday to you, ha or happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Eric, happy birthday to you. So. And then I did two that were kind of um, set up for a gift card. It says to the Mr. to the new Mr. and Mrs. and it has a place to put a gift card. Sometimes I have a difficult time using up these pockets, so I like I like finding different ways to use one. Use them. Here's another one that's for a gift card. It just goes right in there and it says wishing you a bright and successful future graduate graduate. So that's a graduation card. That one's not my favorite, but I mean it's not bad either. And then this is the last card other than the one I gave Eric, and it said, I mean, um, to Ernest for his birthday. It says, another year has flown by and you are another year older. Happy birthday to you. So, oh, let me just show you. I cut that happy birthday to you that's on the inside off of the bottom. And that's why in here I wrote it out with those tile alphas. So, those are all my cards, minus the one I made Ernest, and it had um, an alligator like this, and it said, oops, was that cake yours? <laughs> and, um, and then it said chomp, chomp, chomp at the bottom with like crumbs. And Ernest doesn't really eat cake, so it was perfect for him, and we made him a bunch of uh, birthday cookies instead for his birthday. And so on the inside it says, sorry we ate your cake, but we made you cookies instead. So it fit with what we were doing. 
Okay, these are the other two projects I did. This is a little uh, file folder, and again, sometimes I have a hard, difficult time figuring out how to use these, so I was really happy with the fact that I found something for this, and it's perfect for my scrapbook. I have a process video for this. Not for this other project, but for this one. And what it is, is my mom writes Kaylin letters and postcards pretty frequently. And so I just thought he treasures these. I mean, he keeps them in his room and memorizes them and reads them. I say, quote, reads them, since he can't read yet. Um, and so he treasures these. So I wanted to have a little pocket to stick them in. And he has, um, I think he has one from last year, but most of them are from 2005, because now he's kind of starting to recognize words um, and start reading. Well, not really, but he will be starting to read. So this was a perfect time to put this in my album. And it just says, Letters from Grandma. Has a heart. It's a special delivery. It's 2015. And I did a washi tape border so I could punch new holes. So that's perfect. And then this is the other um, kind of altered project I did. This was just a um, like a chipboard box. And it had little books in it, like mini books. Well, the books, it was a kid's art project. Well, the books have since been thrown away. But the little box was here, and I was like, there's got to be a way to use this because it's super thick and sturdy. So I, co I covered it in um, paper, put a little bit of washi tape, added a few embellishments here, um, a cut apart from the 6x6 pad that I had pulled out, I cut this from a piece of paper, this was on a clip that I tore off, and then a little piece of vellum. And what I'm going to use this for is each stash kit I pull, I also pull some Project Life cards, 4x6, 3x4, and like these are, what, 1 and 3 quarters by 4, whatever, whatever that dimension is. You know, 4x4 four four cards would fit in here as well, but it's just a perfect place to kind of have these cards sitting up. It's just a very small collection of cards. When I pull out my stash kit, I try to keep it limited because I'm not going to make that many Project Life um, layouts in one month, maybe three or four, but this is plenty of cards for three or four layouts, and I already did two, so just thought this was a nice little way to keep my cards um, separate, but also in my stash kit, so that's what I plan to use that for. All right, now to my layouts. I have 11 layouts, and they all have process videos except for one, and again, this does have a process video as well. So this is the first one. And this is actually a double-sided page, and it's just a small insert. It says a few of my favorite things, and again, all of these have process videos except for one, and I'll tell you which one that is. So, um, I used up that honeycomb paper on the back and a lot of this silver star acetate pa paper that I had. I was very happy with this. I love how this turned out. And then the back side is going to have this journaling spot here once I get ink from my printer, which I still haven't done. Um, and I'm going to type up our little fair story that, you know, our little story of how we go to the fair every year, the things that we do while we're there. Um, I started thinking about it. This is going to change. I mean, we do the same thing sort of every year, but it does change slightly. So in 30 years, can you imagine how much it would have changed over time? So I'm going to get that story down. I won't write this story every year, but I haven't written it completely yet at all. So this is the last layout that I did. I think I'm going backwards in my layouts, but this is the last layout I did and it's titled You and Me. I love how this turned out. I had a diagonal stripe background paper and then I used a couple other pieces to kind of fit into that pattern. Love that one. I'll just set it on top. This is the one that I do not have a process video for. So the reason I don't is because it had the preschool um, address on here and I just didn't want to have to worry about you know, the address to my son's preschool being on the internet. Um, I don't know, I'm a little weird about that sometimes, so. Um, but I used a lot of my scrap pieces of paper on this one and just pieced it together, and it has the camp program, um, the one that says Dino Delight, that was the one that he was in this week, and then he got kind of a camper update um, from school, so it just says Camp Memories, and I have that documented. Then there's this one. This is the Project Life Part 1 to my July 2014 um, page. And I love this one. I really love how this turned out with the teals and the grays and the reds. I just think it's so cute. I really like it. And then this is the Part 2. Now they will not be side by side in my album because I'll have 
all my 12 by 12 layouts in between and my other inserts in between. Um, but this is the second part of it. And I had four pictures that really weren't the best quality, so I tried to keep the, the middle row nice and um, simple and clean looking. So I was pleased with how that turned out. 12 by 12 layout. I love this background paper, but I had this large piece of memorabilia, which was a um, pilot certificate. <laughs> so um, I kind of played around with this, and I have a little bit of hidden journaling here. Oh, also, on this page I have some hidden journaling. Not that they're private stories, it's just the journaling didn't fit on the face of the page. And I actually have a stamp on the back of that one. So, there's that one. This one was a very simple layout. It's titled Family History, and it's a picture of my grandmother. And this, I was trying to figure out when this would have been, but it has got to be before I was born. Because my grandmother has had snow white hair for as long as I can remember. And I remember pretty young because I remember my great grandmother still being alive so um, this has got to be before 1984 which is the year I was born there's this one that says noted and he's clumsy like mom um, love this the way this layout turned out this there's some flocking on these birds which is really kind of nice it's a nice texture in person really love that and I love the colors of this one um, this is fair food makes me cheer clapping while he's eating nice fried foods. And then the last, or really the first layout, because I did, I showed these backwards, was the um, starting on the 90 day challenge. And this is kind of a weight loss um, journey that I'm doing. Um, and I thought a way to keep myself accountable was to put it in my scrapbook and share it with you guys. So um, yeah, it's just kind of a way to trick my mind into thinking, you know, one more way to keep me accountable. Anything that can help me will help me. And this is a photo from 2009 I believe and then this is um, 2014 15 the end of beginning of this year so there's a change here and then hopefully I'll have another layout in a couple months that's a change from here to where I am now so that is pretty much it those are all the layouts and projects that I did this month stay tuned I'm already working on pulling out my October stash kit I'm super excited about it I had pulled out a couple um, color palette ideas from Pinterest so I haven't quite decided which one I'm gonna go with but I'm, I'm I've got like two sets pulled out and I just haven't figured out which one's gonna be October and the other one will probably be November so anyways thanks for joining me today guys um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe so you can see what's to come in October thanks bye